If you're living in America, you should be pretty damn excited about this news. Tesla are about to get new 2170 battery cells from Panasonic manufactured with much higher energy density using nano silicon particles. This will mean the new Model Y Juniper due approximately middle of, middle of the year, maybe a few months after that, will have significantly more range than the Tesla Model Y has today. Panasonic are changing their strategy for Tesla. They've announced 200 gigawatt hours of battery production using this new special chemistry, which significantly increases the energy density in the batteries Tesla will use in the Model Y and eventually in the Model 3. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Panasonic will soon be making new batteries for Tesla. Panasonic have said, this is their quote, this will reduce EV prices. I'm not even sure if that's necessary. Tesla might say, you know what, thanks very much. We'll make higher margins on our EVs, but whatever the case may be, it will be good to see a range improvement. I think a lot of people do want a range improvement. Looking at say 350 miles, would that be good enough for most people? I think they'd be pretty happy with 350 miles of range in the real world. So let's say 600 kilometers of range. Would that be enough for you if you had 250 kilowatt fast charging and access to Tesla's supercharger network? I suspect it might be. Panasonic said it will produce a new improved version of the 2170 cells used in the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y at the factory in Nevada that it operates in conjunction. It's a joint project with Tesla. They are coming in 2024. Looks like it will coincide almost exactly with the release of the new Tesla Model Y Juniper in the United States. Who knows if this will happen in terms of how fast Tesla can ramp production of the new Model Y using these cells. It really depends on Panasonic. Basically, Tesla is saying to Panasonic, you know what? We need you to produce as many of these new cells as possible. We need higher energy density batteries in our vehicles. We need them in the Cybertruck. Get to work. Bloomberg has said that the new cells pack a lot more energy density and will help reduce EV prices. And how are they doing this? I mean, how are they packing so much more energy density? It's a technology Panasonic have been working on for a while now. They've been talking about it publicly for a while now. I've mentioned it on the channel. It's by utilizing nano silicon. Panasonic CDO told Bloomberg in an interview that the Japan-based electronics maker aims to deliver on its promise to quadruple production capacity from 50 gigawatt hours of production to 200 gigawatt hours by 2030 in that same year. So how will they go about doing this? Well, first of all, they are building right now a second factory in Kansas where Panasonic will build new battery cells, probably for the Tesla Model 2. At the moment though, I believe Panasonic plan to make the changes in its current existing production line for these 2170 cells. In other words, they're gonna change the chemistry using silicon particles in order to increase energy density for future Tesla vehicles. Very likely Tesla will deploy some of this technology in its 4280 battery cells as well, which would help the Cybertruck to get more range. Here's the thing, Panasonic said to make all this happen, the company won't need to rely on building new factories or pouring large investments into production plants. They said, we will expand battery capacity and improve productivity at the same time. So it seems like he's suggesting they will simply change a lot of their current production lines to make them run faster and changing the chemistry in their existing 2170 cells. Panasonic is, of course, pretty much married to Tesla. I mean, without Tesla, um, they would probably struggle. And Tesla know this. Tesla are putting a bit of pressure on Panasonic to say, you know what? We need those batteries as quickly as possible. Panasonic plans to start producing a revised version of the 2170 cylindrical battery cells that Tesla used in the Model 3 and the Model Y and increase production output by 10% by the end of this year, possibly even sooner. They've been working to increase the energy density of 2170 cells with the company saying that the new improvements could help reduce the cost of an electric car. 
Better energy density means fewer cells would be needed to produce a car, which would reduce the overall price. Does that mean Tesla would reduce prices? I don't think so. I mean, realistically, the Model Y costs $42,000. Most people qualify for the tax credit, so most people are going to get it for $34,500 drive away. I mean, that tax credit now is applied when you jump on Tesla's website. $34,500 is obviously already cheaper than an equivalent internal combustion engine vehicle. So I don't think Tesla is going to necessarily reduce prices, but it probably will increase range to make the cars more desirable. There are a lot of people on the fence saying, oh, I'm going to get a hybrid. If you've seen the reports recently, a lot of people going from a gasoline powered vehicle, they often go to a hybrid first or a plug-in hybrid, and then they make the move to an EV. But why not jump from one technology straight from a gas powered vehicle straight to an EV? And if you've got more range, that's going to make more people want to do that, I think. Panasonic is currently building a new factory for their 2170 high energy density cells in Kansas. That's that second factory in North America. This plant will cost $4 billion. It'll have an initial output of 30 gigawatt hours per year, but that will be doubled eventually. And it's believed that factory will actually manufacture a higher energy density 4680 cell for the Cybertruck and possibly other Tesla vehicles as well. Most likely, those batteries will be using the same energy composition. So basically the same manufacturing processes, the same kind of special mixture using these nanosilicon particles to improve energy density for the Cybertruck and give it more range. A third US battery manufacturing plant will be announced soon by Panasonic with the company saying it's going to go from 50 to 200 gigawatt hours by 2030. So it needs a third factory in the United States. One of the big reasons for Panasonic increasing production, building three factories in America, is the Biden administration giving them some pretty significant amounts of money to do so, and a commitment from Tesla for future orders. I mean, Tesla's very confident it can make a $25,000 electric car. How's it going to do that? Well, we've all been wondering, we've all been saying, how's Tesla going to do this? What batteries will they use? Will they be lithium ion phosphate? Well, it looks as though Panasonic are hoping the Model 2 will use their 2170 cells with a better energy density. If they, Panasonic believe if they can increase production and actually get more batteries coming out of the same production line, which have higher energy density, in theory, you would need less batteries for the same car. This would enable Tesla's $25,000 electric car. Earlier in December, Panasonic announced its agreement and agreement to purchase nano composite silicon nanomaterial from Sela, which is a California based company co-founded in 2011 by one of Tesla's employees who of course left the company to start his own silicon company. Sela's Titan Silicon Anno Powder as wide reports consists of micrometer sized particles of nano structured silicon that replace graphite in traditional lithium ion batteries. Silicon has a theoretical energy density, which is about 10 times higher than lithium ion batteries with graphite. So will we get to that point from Panasonic? No, it's believed these batteries will probably have an energy density approximately 10 to 15% higher than existing batteries, which is not a huge number when you think about the density. But if you consider it from another perspective, Weight is the enemy of electric cars. Weight is such a problem. If you can reduce the amount of batteries in an EV by 10%, you're going to get a pretty significant range improvement. The Biden Administration's Inflation Reduction Act, of course, provides huge amounts of incentives, but that's not the only thing driving this. The other thing driving this is Tesla's continued dominance in North America. I mean, fourth quarter of this year, 56% of the electric car market was still Tesla, 56%. Not only that, but EVs have grown by 122%. Quarter over quarter from 2022 to 2024, we've seen 122% growth. Tesla is clearly betting on that continuing, and therefore it's placed a gargantuan order with Panasonic, pretty much promising it that it will be its number one customer for the next decade. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.